Let's talk some science real quick because I'm in a science mood. I've been kind of like talking to myself for about five minutes. I realized I should just fucking record it. So I was going on about how science, when A causes B, like if you wanted to test cell phones cause cancer, every single person with a smartphone would get cancer. Because when A cause when when A causes B, the result is huge. It is massive. It's like if you took a little tiny chunk of pure sodium and dropped it in a cup of water, you know that it's gonna explode. You could do it every single time. That's A causes B. Me dropping sodium in a glass of water is gonna cause the sodium to explode or pop or react in a violent way. Uh, that is A causes B. So you, you, all these scientific studies to say cell phones cause cancer or, or chocolate makes babies happy or fucking coffee beans gives cures the cold like it's bullshit because when you when you actually sit there and test it out it it basically gives you no result there's some there's some there's some little spikes in the data but little spikes isn't a causes b that's not that's not lighting a match and thinking that it's going to turn into water like no, like you, the hell, the, the fucking uh, strike anywhere match. That's fucking chemistry too. I think it's white phosphate is what makes it just combust on anything. Uh, it's, I think it's is it white and red phosphates when they mix, they make a flame. Is that what it is? I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, because I'm not a scientist. I'm just a fan. <laughs> uh, yeah. But when you get a strike anywhere match and you strike it on someone's boot and it, and it the chemicals mix, it creates a flame. That is A causes B. Me striking a match causes a flame. Not me talking. Not me recording this phone. Not me recording this video is gonna give me fucking skin cancer for me holding it up. Like it's not. It's just not gonna happen. Or me g giving me fucking leg cancer because it's in my pocket all day. Like that's not what happens. Just because we're seeing a rise in cancer and we're seeing a rise in people who use smartphones doesn't mean that cell phones cause cancer. Cancer is more likely caused by uh, modern medicine and our ability to live much longer than we were supposed to live on this planet. <laughs> like, hell, I should have been dead three times by now, but I'm still here because of modern medicine. Well, at least dead twice. My appendix almost burst, and I had a massive, brutal infection in my arm. That it would have killed me if if I didn't act when I did. And my appendix almost burst, and that would have that definitely would have been a world of hurt. Quite possibly, actually, probably would have killed me. Um, I would have been in deep dog shit if that thing would have busted open. But um. Yeah. So just because people are living longer and cancer is becoming more and more common doesn't mean that cell phones cause cancer. It doesn't mean that people who drink coffee get cancer or get cancer cured from them. Because when you, when a scientific study actually proves that this causes this, the result is massive. Like when scientists say global warming is causing more, uh, an increase in violent storms, th then it happens. That is A causes B. When, cl when climate change le yields more extremes in weather, and then you get more extremes in weather all across the planet, then that is A causes B. That is what that is. To deny that, you're being scientifically illiterate. Uh, people who just scream fake news at that are just being idiotic. And that just, that just proves to show that they don't fucking care about the future of this planet. Because, in all honesty, we're probably going to be stuck here for a while. Because I don't think we're going to terraform Mars anytime soon. Because if we could terraform Mars, what the fuck would don't we just terraform Earth? And we better be able to have a lot of fucking babies. Because the only way we're going to be able to get to the next goddamn star is about 50,000 years away. <laughs> no, I think it's 10. No, it's 10,000. I think, no. I don't remember. But if we're able to travel like the speed of light, it's like, I think 
it's, it's a few thousand light years away. So we better be able to have some fertile fucking babies. I just tell you that much. Uh, that's another thing. I also don't really understand time travel. Because they say the faster and faster you go, the more and more uh, you skip back. No, you skip forward in time, I think. Because it's just so fucking confusing. It's so confusing. It's like I've heard it's like if you want to time travel and you literally just sit there and you don't you don't move and you don't do anything. So basically you have to fucking cryo freeze yourself because your body's constantly sitting there doing work. Um, so if you really want to like actually you know, time travel forward in time, you have to increase your speed and you have to get closer and closer and closer to the speed of light. But um I just, I don't understand it because your body still feels that same time passing. It doesn't feel like uh, if I move closer and closer to the speed of light and I'm trying, let's say I'm traveling three times, I'm trying, for every one second that you have, I get three, or, yeah, I'm moving forward three times as fast as you are in time then I still feel that same time. Like, even though it's three seconds passing because I'm traveling so fast, I still only feel one second in my body. That's something I I don't really understand. People thinking that you can just time travel just like that through, like, warp shit or something. It's like, no, you just gotta go really fucking fast. I I don't know. I'm just kind of spewing bullshit. I'm thinking science because the fucking elections today, and it's very important to elect scientific, literate fucking electorals. Because if we don't do that, then we're just moving backwards in society. And I feel like a lot of these goddamn... A lot of these candidates on both fucking sides of the aisle are scientifically illiterate, or they refuse to listen to scientists. And it's making me very angry because... Well, how the fuck are you just gonna say a scientist is wrong when they've been studying this goddamn thing the whole entire life? How can you say that? How can you say a climate scientist is wrong even though we are seeing a, an increase in uh, the global temperature worldwide? We are seeing an increase of extreme weather, extremes in temperatures. We're seeing these extremes. The earth is pissed at us, and you're just gonna sit there and deny that it's happening? Even though there's a fucking hurricane here and it crash into the, what, uh, the United States right now in mid in fucking November. Like, what the fuck? What the, what are you doing? Like, just, I think it was like two weeks ago, it was 70 degrees outside and at the fucking end of October. What the fuck? And literally a week later, it's 50 degrees. Like, that's a pretty extreme weather shift. I think we saw 60 degrees twice this, this year. Okay, I'm a little bit exaggerating, but I'm just saying. Like, we're seeing very extreme, very extreme weather. Very extreme shifts in weather, too. Literally, last week I was wearing fucking t-shirts and shorts, and now it's like, holy fuck, it is frigid. Not frigid, but it's just so, it feels so cold. It's not even that cold, it just feels freezing. Because there's a gigantic shift in the weather. I know um, individual weather patterns are separate, mostly separate from climate change itself, but uh, we're seeing more of these localized shifts or supremes in weather, or extremes, not supremes. We're seeing these more of these localized uh, extremes in weather more frequently. So wouldn't that lead you to believe that uh, we're seeing global warming happen in real life, in real time? What was, the, what was the old experiment? There's like an old there's like an old adage that if uh, you just take a frog and you stick it in a pot of boiling water, it's gonna jump out because it realizes that fuck it's fucking hurting and it's hot as shit. Um, but if you put a, a frog in a pot of water that's at room temperature and then you stick it on the stove and you slowly heat it up, the frog's not gonna the frog's gonna stay in there a lot longer because he gets used to the temperature. And that's exactly what's fucking happening right now. We're sitting here getting used to the temperature. We're getting used to these extremes in weather. When we really shouldn't be. 
We really fucking shouldn't be. We really should be trying to fight it. Because this is the only planet we got. The only planet we have. It's right here. And you're fucking it up. So go goddamn read goddamn science book, motherfuckers. So you don't fucking kill us all. You know, I, I don't plan on living only 30 years. I'm almost there. I plan on living a lot longer than 30 years, to tell you what. But, um... Speaking of death... Um... <clears throat> it's something... Uh, it's weird. I used to be afraid of death. I did. I used to be afraid of death. I used to be afraid of dying. But now, I... A lot of shit's gone down. and I, It's basically... It, it flipped my entire worldview. And I was like, I don't care. I don't fear death anymore. Do I want to die? Uh, preferably not. Preferably. But if it does happen, I'm not going to fucking fret over it. You know? Especially now. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> anyway. That's, that's, not, that's not the point. That, that's not even part of the issue. <laughs> um, I don't even know why I'm even talking about death. Death sucks. <laughs> I don't always joke about it at work and people don't really know what I'm, <laughs> where I'm coming from. They don't know that I make fucking... Um, <laughs> fucking self-deprecating jokes all the time. And I joke about death all the time. People just don't understand that. Oh, backpack! He fell. Son of a whore. Anyway, I need to go vote. I need to fucking hurry up. Because it's only open for another hour. And I'm so fucking busy today. I had to do some fucking research at work, which is bullshit. And then I had to go look at an apartment. And now I have fucking papers to fill out. And I hate paper. Um, just, just bring back bad memories from my college days. Um, now I gotta fill out fucking application paper and print off some goddamn pay stubs and do all that bullshit. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, also my hospital bill came in from the, the infection in my arm. Um, you're never gonna guess how much it was. I'm fucking so glad that I had insurance. But I still gotta pay some fucking money because I went to the emergency room. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna say is this this bill is bigger than all my student loans. Like, yeah, it really it, it's super hard for me to imagine how anyone would have paid that. It's five digits, and the first digit is not one, and it ain't two, and it's almost four. Like, this, this number is jai motherfucking gigantic, And I don't know how in the motherfucking world anyone would have been able to pay that. Because that's, that's just something that was just out of the blue. That's not a pre-existing condition. It fucking is now. But it's something I just kind of contracted. That's something that I didn't do anything to get it. It's just something that I just got. Basically by accident. It is a $40,000 accident. Who the hell can pay for that? That I don't understand. Which is why I'm glad I had fucking full coverage on my last car when I totaled that shit. Because that car was $12,000. I'll say that because the car's totaled. I'm not totaled. Yet. <laughs> I feel totaled. I feel like I should go get a fucking total bar because I'm fucking starving. I'm starving Marvin. Uh, anyway. I don't even know what I'm doing. I think I'm playing word association at this point. Anyway, I'm fucking hungry as shit. I hope they have some food at the goddamn school I'm going to. If they don't, I'm going to cry. Not really. Uh, which means I'm not going to the gym today because i got to go straight to the polling place with them. i got to fucking see about getting me a fuse from a car. And I got, I just got so much shit to do. I just don't want to do any of it. Listen, that's... The big thing is that I just have so much shit to do that it's just hard to start. It, it, it really is. i got to start this application process for this apartment... I gotta fucking... What else I gotta do? Like, it, it, the list is so long, I've fucking lost track. I gotta finish this apartment application. I have to... Now I have to get renter's insurance, so I, I'm adding on to this fucking... To-do list. Yeah, I don't have renter's insurance because I've been uh, living with family. I don't really need renter's insurance to live with family. But now I have to get renter's insurance. Uh, I have to go vote... I should have voted absentee because I knew something was going to fucking come up. Jesus. These people 
people need to get out of my way. That's all I'm saying. I know, God, why are we breaking? That's not the gas pedal. Um, I'm excited because in about in less than two weeks, Pokemon Let's Go po uh, Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee come out. And I've already bought Let's Go Eevee. I'm probably not going to get Let's Go Pikachu because Pikachu's a bitch. <laughs> um, literally just sitting here playing Word Association. This is weird. I haven't been doing this for fucking 16 minutes. I was talking about science before. I want to talk about science again. Nah, I don't. I want to go to bed. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. Go watch my last live stream where me and Donna died in Dead by Daylight finally. And I need someone to tell me who died the least because I don't remember. Um, yeah. Did the killer actually win any of those matches? Go ahead, go watch the video and tell me. Ha, <laughs> plugged. Uh, memories. Anyway, go, uh, go eat, go vote, go bless your face. Uh, I'm not gonna steal Tabescus's outro. I can't. I'm better than that. Also, wear my Pacer sweatshirt because th they lost last night. It was a good game. I'm still talking, even though I said I was gonna end the video because I don't have any self control. This motherfucker wants to pass me. Even though there's literally five guys in front of me. Good luck, bud. Um, anyway, people are assholes and fuck off. That's all I gotta say. And that's how I'm gonna end the video. So, uh...